Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, I'm Christian, and I have your word for the day. Today's chapter is Psalms 111. This chapter tells us who God is and that all He does is just and good. It speaks of God's commandments being trustworthy, true, that they should be obeyed. And it ends with this directive in verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All those who practice it have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. Well, what does it mean to fear the Lord? I've heard it explained that the fear of the Lord is a scripturally balanced view of God that can only be accomplished and understood from reading scripture. For instance, if you only see the attribute that God is love, you won't likely fear Him and you risk seeing Him as a giant Santa Claus-like character or some sort of cuddly teddy bear. If you only see God through His vengeance and wrath, you won't see Him as just and caring and you'll avoid Him at all cost. However, when we know God in a balanced view from studying Him through Scripture, we are in awe of Him. When we get a full, complete understanding of the Creator of the world, who has the power to cover the earth with floodwaters and to separate the sea so His chosen people can flee their oppressors, God, who knows the number of hairs on your head, who sent His Son to save us from our sins, well, then we're in a place where we can respect God and fear Him. We can be more fully aware of His magnitude and power. He is due respect, and the more you know about God, the more you will love Him. This is why we don't ignore Him, we don't discount His importance, we don't use His name in vain, we don't rebel against His teaching. Fearing God is demonstrated in our humility, our dedication, our discipline to do as He asks of us. This is our Creator. You experience the fear of God as an incentive to not run away from Him. And you experience the fear of God as you run to Him in your dependence on Him. The fear of the Lord is what God deserves, but it is also the beginning of wisdom. As you obey His commandments, you will continue to grow in wisdom. I hope that encourages you. Have a great day.